Hey guys, Steve Innes again. Now, today I'm going to show you um, how to cut out some square holes using the MFS system from Festool. Now, over here, I'll, can the, I'll span the camera down, <laughs> whatever you call it. I don't know. God damn it. I started off well, haven't I? <laughs> okay. So what, what I'm doing is I want to cut some 125 millimeter holes out. This is this is actually a, a, a panel which I'll sort of scan around. This is a, a panel on the side of the bunk bed. I'm going to make some 125 millimeter square holes, which is like the um, allowable sort of correct sort of holes that you can put into a kid's bunk bed or a, 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 I'm working off like a balustrade rail. Anyway, so what we've got is the 125, we've got the 125 millimeters marked out on the square. Now, in order to cut the hole out, I use the MFS uh, rail system. Here I've got the 700 and I've got the 400, but I've got the 200 and I've got the meter and I've got the two meters. So this is comfortable for what I want to use. Now, I'll just get my router. Now, the one, I, the, the one I kind of use for this work is the OF 1400. It's a beauty. Um, I find it's sort of very comfortable. Um, now, you put in the 30 millimeter ring, which is sort of uh, standard with these routers. Then you put in whatever desired cutter that you want. You take a measurement from, oops, okay. You take a measurement from the, from the cutter to the outside the cutter to the outside of this ring here, which is, in this case, this is nine, it's nine millimeters from the cutter to the outside of the ring. So that's an important measurement. Now, oh, I'll put that down. So what I need to do is make this square on the MFS nine millimeters all around wider. So it's 18 millimeters that way and 18 millimeters that way. Now the beautiful thing with this MFS rail system is, it has all the, it has all the markings from zero, from zero out to the 700. And as you align, as you align, I unscrew, there's a screw in here, and I'll get the, get the special little screwdriver with this, um, and it's a hex head. So what I undo that, there's a little screw down the side, and down here, there's another little screw down the side here. Right so that you get this adjustment. So you can adjust it wherever you want. So all you do is just go along to the very edge here, the very edge of where your guide rail is here. So I need to bring it down to 143 millimeters. There you go, 143 millimeters on the knocker. Tighten it up, snug it up. Come down to this side here. It's already sitting on 143 millimeters just by its accuracy of being square. So you just snug that up. So now I've got a perfect little square area because I've got 143 mil this way, 143 mil that way. That's because I want to make a square, uh, a hole. Now, in order to set this up, I set the set square here, and I clamp the set square down. Make that nice and square. Then I push this push this, this side of the rail up against the square. That keeps it nice and snug. Then I grab another clamp. I clamp this over here just for the moment, just temporarily. So that's sitting nice and square. Oops, no, don't need to use the clamp. Now I use these one millimeter and eight millimeter spaces from Woodpecker because I want the nine millimeters. So what I do now is I just now need to adjust this up and down. So it's sitting at nine millimeters and it's smack on nine millimeters there. So down here, I've got the little brackets at the bottom of the, and this is what the brackets look like. They've got a little right angle and you can slide them in the, the track and you get, you get to slide them up and down and back and forth this way. So I've got them adjusted. I've pushed, I've pushed them in here so that they sit snug here. 
The camera's starting to move. <laughs> um, right, I might just blow that up a little bit so you can see a bit better. So these, so as you can see, these move in. So I just push them in so they're against, hard up against the rail. I just, I just clamp this down just temporarily. I make sure that I've got my nine mil there now because it looks, I can tap it up a little bit longer. And now I've got my nine mil. I push this in. That's hard up against the fence. I use a hexagonal screw underneath, tighten it up and tighten it up. I make sure that that's same over this one, which I'll swing the camera around. So it's the same thing with this one. This moves in there, so that pushes up against the fence, or up against the, the board, I should say, not the fence. Right. So I undo that now. That's just temporary. This is only temporary. Now. Because I want to make a series of holes which are parallel to this edge, of course this slides all up now, giving me the nine millimeters from that hole to that edge all along the board. So I've got that area covered. Now all I have to do is make sure that I've got nine millimeters from this line, from this line here to the edge of there. So what I do, I just get my little spaces, which is nine millimeters. I push it up firm against here and I just slide the wrong till it touches the nine millimeters there. I check it this side. Yep, all good. So that's it. That's now sitting in the center of that square. Now because I've, I've actually got this raised up on some um, yellow box dogs. They're not quite tall enough for me to fit underneath the, the track. Now this, the, the festival clamps slide in underneath the track here. We've got the same rail configuration as the, um, the uh, oops, sorry. I've realised I've got my little ones. <laughs> I use these, I've converted these to fit to the... Um, to the festival track and they're just like little hold downs you probably can get them from somewhere like rockler or something like that you put your own bolt in if you want so i've customized them because they're they're much lower obviously <laughs> the difference in the height so these are great when i'm working on a on a bench model so i slip them under there i go in and i lock this i lock this track down there i've got another i've got another one Got another one up under here. Slip that under there. Press it down. I lock this down. Now that is not going anywhere. This is locked down to the to the board. I've got nine millimeters from this line to here. 9mm from there to there, 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 all ready to go. So now, it's just a matter of, I just now sit my router in here, make sure the router's sitting nice and flat, and then it's just a matter of running the router around, running the guide around here, around the outside of the track. So it's just a matter of running it down, get your desired height, slide it along, slide it along, and using the track as your your guide. Now there is a there is a little attachment here that you can see it's got 24, 27, 30, and 40. These are the different matching codes. Now when you slip that onto here, like so, as you can see that spins around like so. The distance from there to there is the same as the distance from the top of the rail to your product or your board. So when I sit that down there now, I haven't got any possible chance of that tipping over simply because it's, it's actually being supported all the way around. On a little job like this, I think is probably a bit too small. Sorry, this square, this hole that I want to do is a bit too small. 
So I don't tend to use that. That's more for when you're doing a big area and there's a great chance that you, your, route, your router will tip over. So that's how I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to, I'll show some examples of, but you know, routing, I mean, you obviously can, you obviously know it's going to route it out because it's, it's all been calculated. I think you've seen a router work. I think, ooh, I think you've seen a router work, so I don't think there's any point in showing you how to route. It's just, it's simple, just follow around the guide and it's going to drop out and I'll have a square hole. But that's the, um, the MFS system that I really like. It's fabulous, it's sort of infinitively adjustable to slots or squares. So um, I hope that might help for people to understand some of the uses of the MFS, which is fantastic. Okay guys, there's a serious one from me today. See ya.